Hi, it's Caitlin from Caitlin Swatches and I'm here today with my August polish pickup video. If my math is correct, I have seven polishes to share with you and I am very excited because this month's theme is marine magic and I love the ocean. I recently was by the ocean and I just kind of wish I could always be near the ocean because maybe I'm a mermaid at heart. I don't know. Anyway, these polishes will be available for pre-order from August 5th through the 8th. I will include all of the information you might need down in the description. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and you can also follow me on Instagram. But we have nail polish to get to, so let's do it. Let's go in alphabetical order this time. This one is Bees Knees Lacquer. Nothing ever scared me so much as saying goodbye, which is like, oh my God straight to the heart anyway this one is inspired by porter and his love for pearl i'm not completely sure what the reference is but i'm loving this polish it is another sibling to a lion with a thorn in its paw and this one is a darker aqua than the original with orange to green shimmer and a ton of hollow flakes so this as you can see is absolutely gorgeous it has the most perfect formula i built this one up in three coats the shimmer is absolutely outstanding it does kind of look like pearls on your nails and oh my gosh it's so pretty so here you can see the flakes are pretty the shimmer is amazing it's really orangey and almost red at some angles it's also very golden it looks a little blue sometimes. It just looks like everything I love in a nail polish and I just absolutely love it. And the next polish I'm sharing for the first time ever on my channel, I think, is Cupcake Polish. And this one is super cute. So this, if you couldn't already tell, is inspired by The Little Mermaid and it's called Dingle Hopper. It's a minty green crelly with green and red metallic flakies and red and green iridescent flakes. So this one has a really nice formula. It's really easy to work with and I only needed two coats personally for full opacity and it does have a tiny bit of texture when it dries down so I recommend a good glossy top coat but it won't be textured once you apply the top coat and it will be easy to remove because they're flakes and not glitter. But this one really captures the essence of Ariel and yeah, I loved The Little Mermaid when I was a kid. So this nail polish is just super cute and very fun. Here we have Girly Bits. So this one is called Making Waves and it is a pale sea green with a strong gold orange green blue Aurora shimmer and a good dose of hollow. So this one obviously starts off pretty sheer and I do think it looks best when you build it up in three coats. This is a really beautiful sort of foily finish overall. So it's definitely also giving me like a mermaidy feel with maybe, I don't know, that sort of fish scale look, but like not in a gross way, in a really beautiful way. So anyway, this is it in three coats. As you can see, the hollow combined with the shimmer is just absolutely beautiful. It looks so good out in the sun. I just love the way I was able to catch this. And I also love how it looks in the shade here. It's just a really luminous polish. Next up, we have Glisten and Glow Poor Unfortunate Souls. This is sort of a sibling, not a sibling, but... Cupcake Polish and Glisten and Glow teamed up and both did Little Mermaid inspired nail polishes. So this one's inspired by Ursula from The Little Mermaid. It is a black base jelly loaded with color shifting flakes that shift from purple, blue, pink, red, orange, and green at various angles and lighting. And there's also purple reflective glitter. So this one I built up in two coats and because it dries down textured, I recommend using the Glisten and Glow glitter grabber first so that's what I'm applying here so apply that let it dry for like five to ten minutes and then go in with the glisten and glow top coat and apply that and you will have the smoothest shiniest nails of all time so here's the polish in two coats plus the two top coats 
And as you can see, it's very shiny out in the sun. And when you're inside, you really catch the shift of all of those flakes in there, which is just really pretty and very villainous. So Glisten and Glow is also offering their cuticle remover pen and a cuticle oil pen. And the scent this month is called Sun and Sand, and it's got orange flower, citrus, and lavender, as well as a powdery musk. So it's not an overly beachy scent, but it is really nice. I would say it's more on the floral side. And in terms of how I use it, so I apply the cuticle remover rather generously, as you can see. Let it sit on the nail for like 60 seconds, and then I use an orange wood stick to push back my cuticles. And then I wash it off really well. And as you can see, it really removes anything from the nail plate. And then after that, I always apply the cuticle oil, which is in the matching scent. And really, I apply this all the time, every day, at any chance I get. So I apply it all over the nail at the tip of the finger. And then I also rub it in just to make sure I'm getting it into all of my skin and everywhere on my nail and I just do it every day all the time. And here we have Great Lakes Lacquer. So this is an absolutely gorgeous blue. It is inspired by Deep Blue, who is one of the largest known great white sharks to swim our oceans. This polish is described as a deep indigo filled with a bright, vivid blue shimmer that has slight shifts to indigo and purple at extreme angles. So this one is really opaque and it almost covers completely in one coat, but I always generally do too. So I went in with a second one. I would recommend a good base coat just because this is a very pigmented polish. I didn't experience any staining, but just in case I recommend a good base coat and a good layer of top coat. And as you're going to see here, this is super intense and just such a rich blue. I'm I just have always had a soft spot for blues like this, and this one is absolutely gorgeous. And here we have Crissible Designs. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. And this one is described as having a purple base with various sizes and shades of pink and blue glitter and purple to blue shimmer. So this one also glows in the dark, but I couldn't figure out how to get it photographed that way so my apologies but this one i recommend building up in three coats it does have a sheer base which allows the glitters to stand out really nicely and because this one has actual matte glitters in it i would recommend two layers of top coat or using something like the glisten and glow glitter grabber that i showed earlier with a top coat so this is it in three coats and hopefully you can see like the subtle shift in the shimmer it is there and it is really beautiful and here we have paint it pretty polish this one is called the great barrier reef and it is inspired by obviously the great barrier reef and this one starts off with a darkened blue base and it's filled with shifting shimmer in bronze yellow and green so this one is another classic shimmer from paint it pretty polish if you remember um take me away or rainbow hair there's so many others i can't even remember all of them right now but this is one of those kind of siblings with that amazing jelly base that builds up absolutely beautiful with the most intense shimmer ever so this one does build up best in three coats plus top coat and just wait for your mind to be blown when i show you how shifty this is like, is this a joke? It's not a joke because it actually looks that beautiful on your nails and I am just beyond obsessed with it. So just take a moment to take it all in. In terms of my favorites, I'm gonna have to go with the Paint It Pretty Polish. That is so pretty and you know how much I love Paint It Pretty Polish and how much I love their shimmers. So this one is like, it's apparently the color that I didn't know I needed. I just absolutely love it. And of course I love the Bees Knees Lacquer. It is just like 
the prettiest minty shade. And I also now kind of need every single one of these lying with a thorn in its paw siblings because I am obsessed. So please let me know in the comments which of these you're planning to pick up, if any. Let me know what else is on your wish list. It's gonna be a good month. So I'd love to hear it. And hopefully you have a great day wherever you are and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye.